What I want to show you here is how you can hide empty records and the corresponding labels. So for example, my phone list, Bob Appleman, he doesn't have an extension, his record's empty. And so instead of wasting ink and printing off EXT when he doesn't have an extension, I want to be able to, well, I can't delete it because if I do that, then everybody else who does have an extension, they won't have the label here. So I want to hide it when they don't have an extension and also hide the record. And what I mean by that is that if I hide the extension here for Bob Appleman because he has an empty record, well, I'll still have this white gap here from Bob to the line below. And I want to essentially hide that, that behind the scenes text box that would have displayed something if he did have a record or collapse it so we can bring Bob Appleman down to the line and, you know, condense the report. Because if I had hundreds to thousands of them that didn't have an extension, well, that will take up more pages than necessary. So the first thing I want to do is to get rid of the label and in its place create an unbound text box where I can insert the if function. And if you don't know anything about the if function, you can watch my Excel training video on if. But essentially what I want it to do is to say if there's nothing over here in the field, then don't display anything over here. But if there is something here, you know, like an extension, then go ahead and insert the three letters EXT. Sound good? Alrighty, let's go ahead and right click in a blank area, go to the design view, and let's come over here and delete the label. Now nobody has a label, but we'll fix that. Let's come up here on the design tab, go to the controls group, and get our text box, select it, add it, let's get rid of its label, and then I could go ahead and type in the if function in here, but it's so small that you wouldn't see the entire syntax. So instead, let me go ahead and double click on its border to bring up the property sheet for that text box. And on the Alt tab in the control source field, well, that's still too small. Let me go ahead and right click on it and zoom in. And paste the function. And can you see that? It's kind of tiny. Well, let me do this. Let me go ahead and right click and open up a blank word document and paste it there but let me go ahead and select it and increase the font size and well you can see that right oh good okay so the if function in access has an extra i where in excel it has just one i spelled correctly i if and the syntax as a brief overview is that you've got three arguments the first one is to the left of the first delimiter which is this comma here is a logical test if it's true, then over to the right of that is the true statement, what to do. And if it's false, over to the right of the last comma is what to do. So let me come back here and explain this test first. So we have all this over here to say if this equals the set of quotes. Well, not the set, but what's between it, which is nothing. So if I do this test and it equals nothing in the extension field, then if it's true, do that. If it's false, do that. Well, let's go ahead and break this part of it. Well, okay, not select that, but let's break this part of it down here first. So first of all, we have the NZ function that allows empty values, in this case, if the extension is blank. So we're saying if the extension field is blank here, there's nothing there, the NZ says, well, we'll allow those empty values. And then outside of that, we have the trim function that is used to eliminate any extra spaces. So if it's empty and it's got a space, then the trim takes it out. So we really have it cleaned up. So if there's nothing in there, well, if it has an extra space, it'll remove it. But if there's nothing in the extension field and it equals in between those two set of quotes, absolutely nothing there, great. Then it meets the true condition here to allow nothing to be inserted. But if it's false and there is something in the extension field where they actually have an extension, then go ahead and add the text ext. So this is going to be in place of the label, to actually add a label for us, as it were, the ext, if there's actually something in there. So let's go ahead and close out of here and don't save it. And with that there in there, let's go ahead and click okie dokie and then hit enter to make sure it accepts it. And then I need to take this because it's going to be the label now for this. That is, if there's actually something in that field and I want to collapse that to about let me see hover over the right middle resizing handle click on it and you can see down below in the status bar it's got three characters well you don't see it now because I let go of it but when I click on it that right middle resizing handle three characters is pretty good okay now when you create an unbound text box it adds a line around it so I want to get rid of that line by coming up here and clicking on the format tab 
and go to the shape outline and there's the color of it I don't want it to have a color let's do transparent and let's go ahead and right click on it and go to the report view okay so if he doesn't have anything in the record here not an extension don't show the ext text and hey that worked for Bob and everybody else who did have an extension gets it cool of course it's not aligned just so but hey we know how to do that from earlier training videos how to nudge it and push it and align it just right In any case I'll leave the aesthetics up to you but the next thing that I'm looking at is that we've got this white space so I don't want to waste paper if they don't have an extension first we hide that but I also want to be able to take Bob Appleman and collapse them down to the line here as if there was no text box there at all because in the design view it's still there so that's why we got the space to say that hey if there was something there it would be displayed here but since there's nothing there let's shrink it up so let's go ahead and right click go to the design view and for the if function text box here we want to come over here to the property sheet and scroll down just a little bit until I can find there we go can shrink it says no and when I click in it, it says control or section. Well, let me get out of the way. Control or section shrinks vertically when printed to eliminate blank lines. And it's got a question mark saying, do you want it to eliminate this by shrinking vertically if it has nothing in there? Oh, yes. Double click. Great. Let's go ahead and do it for this guy as well, because if we do it for one and not the other, it's not going to collapse them because this guy will still be expanded as it were. So for the extension, well, it flipped out. Now we have to come up here to find it on the Alt tab. Can shrink, double click, and say yes. Let's go ahead and save it. And let's take it for a test drive. Right click, go to the report view. And hey, isn't that fancy? Not only did we save ink by removing the three letter extension if they don't have an extension, but also space. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.